partial fraction decomposition case 1. How do I know that this will be the case 1? Well, I see that we're working with a fraction. The degree of the polynomial in the numerator is lower than degree than the in the polynomial of the denominator. So I can try to factor the denominator as much as possible. And I will do it as x minus 2 times x plus 3. Review my another video of how I'm doing this factoring dx. This is indeed case 1 because all those factors are linear and they are not raised into any exponent like cube or 5 and they're not quadratic so we can write it down as integral from 4 to 5 a over x minus 2 plus b over x plus 3 dx. At this moment, I highly recommend to drop the idea of the integral in general and now work only with the equations. So in the left hand side, we're working with the integral that has this uh, division of polynomials or basically a fraction inside and it equals to integral here so we can make those two squared functions equal to each other 16x minus 7 all over x squared plus x minus 6 equals a over x minus 2 plus b over x plus 3 the fastest way to find a and b is to get rid of the denominator and see how I'm going to do it. I'm going to multiply by the denominator, x squared plus x minus 6. But actually, it's not x, x squared plus oh, x minus 6. I will do x minus 2 times x plus 3. That's better. x minus 2 times x plus 3. So to cancel out the denominator, I'm only multiplying by the things which are missing out, in this case x plus 3, in this case x plus 2, x minus 2. And by missing out, I mean x plus 3 cancel out by with x plus 3, so I don't have to write it down, it's just faster this way. So denominator goes away completely for the first fraction, and I have 16x minus 7 equals a x plus 3 plus b x minus 2. Now, this is the equation which uh, we are need to find a and b. There are two ways we usually teach how to do it and in this video I will show you the guessing way. Guess uh, some kind of convenient or good convenient mm, x inputs. For example, you can plug something like x equals 0, x equals 1. Technically speaking, just two guesses will be good enough to solve for two unknowns, a and b. Because this equation already holds for you to understand. So since this equation in green already holds, whatever I'm going to plug will make sense and, make, and keep the equal sign. And that's how I'm going to solve for a and b. But it makes sense to plug something good. So, And by good, something that will make less calculations. So you don't want to plug 0 0.7. That's going to be not convenient, even though it's going to work. For example, x equals 2 looks like a good idea. If x is equal to 2, it's going to be 32 minus 7 equals a times 2 plus 3. That's 5. And uh, b is multiplied by 0. So a follows right away from here. 32 minus 7 divided by 5 is 5, right? Because 32 minus 7 is 25. Put it in the box because later you will you might have A, B, C, D, E. And it's nice to later to find them easily. Minus 3 looks like a good idea, but actually even 0 is a good idea. So let's try any other, some kind of like 0, for example, input. Then it's going to be 16x gives you 0 minus 7 equals 3a minus 2b but we know a already so it's actually minus 7 equals 3 times uh, let me write down for you 3 times 5 minus 2b and then b follows from here minus 7 and minus 15 divided by minus 2 gives you 11. put it in the box 
We found A and B really fast by just making good guesses, like so. And I will now complete the integral. The integral becomes integral from 4 to 5. A is 5 over x minus 2 dx. And I'll break it into two integrals. Plus integral from 4 to 5, 11 over x plus 3 dx. That's what I'm having here now. I usually kick out those constants outside of the integral right away. And I usually don't copy it again. I just see it as 5 outside dx over x minus 2 from 4 to 5 plus 11 dx over x plus 3 from 4 to 5. Both are logarithmic functions. So I will have 5 natural log of absolute value x minus 2 divided by 1. What kind of 1? There is a leading coefficient over here. So don't forget, you're actually supposed to divide by 1. Someday you will not have 1. And if you forget to divide, you'll have a mistake. So also here divided by leading coefficient, which is 1. And now all of these should be calculated from 4 to 5. So I'm plugging top minus the bottom. It will be 5 natural log of 5 minus 2. That's just 3. You don't have to put absolute value because 3 is positive. Plus 11 natural log of 5 plus 3. That's 8. Minus 5 natural log of plugging 4. 4 minus 2. That's just 2. Minus. Minus because there's a minus in the formula top minus bottom. 11 natural log 4 plus 3 is 7 and that is the answer it's it is some kind of number if you want to simplify this you can write down as 5 natural log of mm, the three halves for example like so you can collect you can collect these together then it's going to be 3 divided by 2 so three halves and then you can collect these two together and it's going to be 11 natural log 8 sevenths. 8 sevenths. And again, we don't need to put absolute value because inputs for logarithmic function here are positive. That's how you do the simple case. That's case number one. In my next video, I will show you case number two.